it will not fire. You can throw it in your pocket, throw it in a purse, throw it in a purse. I, I don't know, maybe not in a purse. I don't know, maybe maybe there are people that have purses that use mech mods. That's not for me, that's not my place to say. <clears throat> All right, well, what's up everybody? Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me. Really excited to about today. I'm really excited to be talking about some other vape stuff that's not necessarily like a pod or an AIO. And look, I, I love those. I love pods. I love AIOs. They definitely have their place, especially for maybe some new vapors, maybe some smokers coming over to this side. But I wanted to talk about this mech mod RDA combo that I have been using basically nonstop since I got it. I got a whole slew of stuff from uh, Armageddon manufacturing various mech mods and RDAs and things like that. And this is just the first one I decided to set up. This is the grip. It is overall a pretty slick looking mech. It's a little bit telescoping as well, which I'll show you in a second, but you can kind of see right here, there's like one fit and finish issue. It's just, you can see a little bit of brass. This is what I believe to be Cerakoted brass and it's hitting nice and hard, but because of the way this works, there's gonna be, when I'm using, it. okay, so look, let's unscrew this. You're gonna see a little bit of brass right there and that's because I have a 21700 battery in here and here's where that telescoping function kind of comes into place. The whole top cap comes off. They call this like the top hat design inspired by AV. I really, really love this design. Obviously your RDA is going to screw down here and you're going to have a hybrid 510 connection right there. Oh, a, li a little bit of a little bit of a wet hybrid 510 right there. And so the reason for this type of construction is this is a continuous contact mod. And right now, like I said, I got a big old 21700 in there. But this device can use kind of a lot of batteries. It can use 21700s, 2700s, and then these little numbers right here, these 26 50s. Now these 2650 batteries, they're about the length of an 18650, just about the length of an 18650, wider than an 18650, bigger diameter than an 18650. And for no real reason in particular, I picked up a bunch of these because it was one of my patrons. I don't know who it was. Was it Pizza Beard? It was somebody. Thomas? I don't know who it was, but somebody recommended these 2650 batteries to me. They said they've been running them in mechs. They just love them, love the performance from them. So I thought, shit, I'm gonna buy some. Then I got them and realized they don't work in any mech that I have until I got the grip. And the great thing is you can put this 2650 battery in here and it can take up all of the battery rattle. You just thread this sort of top hat design all the way down, keep going. Those threads are gonna disappear, don't stop now. And then when it's snug and you got no more battery rattle in there, it's in, I can press the button, boosh, it'll fire like crazy. Aesthetically, I really like the design of this, really slick, I love the colors, I love the blue and black, I love their top hat design there, I, I, I love the way this looks, this little gap right here and how your RDA is kind of like sitting on this on this little pedestal maybe. And then to fire the damn thing, it's kind of a, uh, it's kind of a side fire thing, right? There's a couple devices out there like this, the purge, uh, sidecar, what the crap is that thing called? It's the purge <sighs> slim piece, razor back, what the hell is it called? Side piece, slam piece, side piece, something like that. It's a side fire switch from, from purge. But this is very, very much that same design. And this one is a bit, uh, mm, safer, I guess, than maybe some other side fire mods. And the reason that this one's safer is the contact is actually inside the tube. There's no way to like get to the contacts from the outside. All in, and it's a real, real soft little press right here. Do you see that plunger kind of going down, hitting right there? Now I said, this is a continuous contact mod, so you can fire this and fire this and fire this, or you can twist this as such, and the such as twist like this, boom, lock. It's a mechanical lock in place there. So once you have this thing locked, it, it, it won't fire. It will not fire. You can throw it in your pocket, throw it in a purse, throw it in a purse. I, I don't know, maybe not in a purse. I don't know, maybe, maybe there are people that have purses that use mech mods. That's not for me, that's not my place to say. But the point is, throw it in a purse, backpack, pocket, 
not gonna fire. In fact, I wanna show you down in there, you can kind of see the contacts. You are not going to be able to see down in there because this camera is limited in its capabilities. But basically what's happening is there's a contact in the bottom that's touching your battery and then this little fire piece, this little contact will come down into the mod and hit that contact, completes the circuit, fires your device. When the lock is on, there is a big, thick peak insulator around the edge of that bottom contact. And when you twist this little knobby on the bottom, it physically moves that peak insulator into place, completely covers the contact. So when the little hammer pin comes down, it can't get to the contact, mechanical lock. And as far as the mech mod itself goes, like I said, Cerakoted brass, hits nice and hard. I like the mechanical lock. I like this button. It's not too difficult to press. The purge one, always really difficult to press. In fact, the other one, where is it? The one that I got from MTurk, also really that side fire, it's a struggle. Like you have to earn that shit. This, much easier. Much easier even for my weak hands. I can, I can grip this and fire it and it's just a nice soft little buttery throw. And like I said, it's it hits great. It's hitting like crazy. These are some .13 coil turd aliens in here. They're nice and crackly. I don't know if I've ever had coil turd coils that are this crackly. This is like a whole other level of crackle. This is like AJ Holland status crackle. I, I like the crackle. For anybody wondering, it's, it's something I actively desire. It's something I actively seek out in an RDA. So I really do like using this whole setup. We're gonna talk about the RDA in just one second and I'm using the RDA simply because it is so, it is so matchy matchy. I just like it like this when colors match perfectly. The RDA matches this blue, all the blue matches, all the black and blue matches, and I just think that's so fantastic. I don't love this RDA. This is the new Apocalypse 25 millimeter RDA, and I haven't used a lot of Armageddon manufacturing stuff in the past. It's just not something I'm super, super familiar with, like all of their lineups and stuff. I know that the original Apocalypse RDA was quite the popular RDA. And look, don't get me wrong, this RDA vapes real well. The full open, big five millimeter holes on either side, it's just a lot of really nice, swooshy airflow. It does have adjustable AFC on it as well. If I twist this top here, you can see that kind of closing off all the different airflow options. You can see it's set up for both dual and single coil. Now I wasn't planning on re-wicking this right now, but I do want to show you the deck real quick. Uh, shit. I think in order to do that, I'm gonna have to go uh, wash this out and re-wick it really quickly. And that's okay because that will bring me to my biggest gripe about this RDA. Got it all washed out, got it all rinsed out, glowing nice and evenly. So let's talk about my, my gripes with this RDA real quick. And it's not many, it's, well, it's two. First things first, I'm not super in love with this deck. It's a little bit of an outdated design. It's like a goon clamp style deck, except it's not done quite as well as a goon clamp style deck. The screws, the flathead screws are rather large diameter and they take up a lot of space in those clamps. So you either have the option to go for a center post build here like I did, or you end up with your leads way, way on the outside. And maybe you can do a real wide build, a real spaced build or something like that. But otherwise, it's a fairly serviceable deck. It's got a nice deep liquid well in there for over dripping like I do all the time. So let me real quickly do one of those fast emotion Wiccan things so we can get to my other gripe. So obviously wicking it isn't a big gripe for me. It's super, super easy to wick. So now we get to basically what is my main gripe with this RDA, and that is the O-rings and the fit and finish on the bottom. You see the inside of this little uh, top cap here, the barrel of your RDA, there are little uh, there are little notches, right? There are little notches and tabs. There's little there's a little notch and tab system. You can see 
that notch right there, that little, little notch by the post, then you're going to have a corresponding little tab. And the reason that they did this, and I get why they did this, and this is to have your airflow always centered right at your coil. The problem is getting this top cap on. I I've tried tons of liquid lubrication. You just there's just no way to do it other than to force it. The easiest way for me to be able to do this is I look for the gas mask guy and then I line up the bottom of the gas mask guy's gas mask with this side post because that's basically where the tabs and notches are. And even with a little bit of a liquid lubrication on there, it's just a pain in the ass to get down. This is not a pop and paint situation. In fact, if I can help it, I just don't take this top cap off ever just never take the top cap off because it's an actual nightmare to get it back down there it goes all right oh there goes half of it hang on oftentimes what i find myself having to do is um, put it upside down on a desk and then lean like most of my weight of pressure on it so it ugh, like finally gets down in there yeah okay got it see eventually eventually it all went down in there and as you can see the airflow is lined up perfectly with the center of your coil good lord how long have i been shooting this video for i can already tell like without even editing it this video is going to be long and i don't really care just going to saturate these coils and cotton this is an rda thankfully so you don't have to take off that top cap but this is an rda that is very conducive to the bleh technique and now we vape it excellent excellent vape it just vapes so well. It's just so satisfying, so flavorful, nice and warm. Like I said, this is a 0.13 on here. It's giving me some warmth, some flavor, all in a nice durable tube mech mod. Now I can't find this exact model, this blue and black version of the grip anywhere on the internet. But if you go to armageddonmanufacturing.com, which is actually Florida Vapor Supply Distribution, I know, it's confusing, but they have a few different versions of the grip on the website they have the le grip which is a little bit more reasonable vape budget hands clocking in at about 120 dollars keep in mind that's just for the mech they have the og grip that is much nicer shinier it's got some more textures on it that is 290 yeah 290 dollars so Vape budget hands kind of through the roof right now. And then if we're going to throw on an additional $45, if you want the Apocalypse 25 millimeter RDA. Now, I mean, that's that's some serious vape budget hands. That's the most serious vape budget hands we've had here on the Grim Green channel in a long time. This particular combo and kind of mech mods and RDAs in general are a little bit more of like a advanced kind of collectory thing to do, to get, to buy. Average Dave the Vapor rocking his little caliber and pod system and he's staying off cigarettes with that and that's fine this this is not for him dave has no interest in this but for those of us that do have interest in this yeah vape budget hands i mean it's gonna be it's gonna be a serious vape budget hands issue so let's see let's play the aliens game with this aliens have come and taken everything i have and i have nothing left to vape with is this armageddon manufacturing grip something i would seek out and buy right away here's the thing the mech mod yes the RDA, uh, no, pro probably, probably not that RDA. You're just going to need some serious, serious vape budget hands, and I think that's what this comes down to. It's awesome, but it's pricey. That's kind of the way the world works. Awesome things are generally pricey. That is far, far too much rambling from me. I'm sure everybody wanted like a, what did this video end up being, 20 minutes long? I'm sure that's what everybody wanted on Tuesday afternoons was a 20 minute long mech mod video. Anyway, no links are allowed in the description, so you're gonna have to use your Google Foo guys, but that's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you guys, seriously, so much for watching. And as always, no matter what is in your hand, let's keep on vaping. to blaying your juice.